Hello there, my name is Ismaus and uh, this is my first attempt on Ian Habati's speed tutorials. Uh, let's see how it goes. We're going to be making this looping, infinite looping animation in less than three minutes. Start by finding a character. I downloaded mine from Mixamo. Delete any keyframes or animation that comes with it. We are going to be adding our own uh, falling animation. Let's add a cube. Delete the top and bottom faces and then subdivide it a few times. And then use the random select tool to select a few edges. Bevel the selected edges using Ctrl B and then extrude them using Ctrl E so that we can push them out of the cube to get an interesting shape. Now add an array modifier to the cube so that we can make copies in the Z axis. Add a curved object. We're going to use this to deform the cube into a closed loop corridor. If you want to make this more interesting, you can add a simple deform modifier to the curve so that we can make it twisted using the twist option. Now to animate the camera and the character, add an empty, parent the camera and the character to the empty, then add a follow path constraint to the empty. Then choose the curve as the target. This means that any object parented to the empty will be animated to follow the curve whenever we animate the offset of the constraint. Now to make the animation loop, let's keyframe the offset value of the constraint. Go to frame 1 of your timeline, then change your offset value to 0 and then insert a keyframe by pressing I while your cursor is over the offset value. Then move to the end of your timeline and set another keyframe. This time make sure that the value of the offset is set to 100. Now let's work on the animation of the character. Make sure that your character is rigged and ready to animate. Move different bones around, adding keyframes where necessary, just to have the character seem like it's floating around. Now to make the character animation loop, just make sure that the start and end keyframes of each bone are similar. Then the in-between keyframes can be whatever feels right. Now if you have done everything correctly, you should have something similar to this. left is adding some materials, lighting and you're good to go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.